So this is the second test of my LEDs. As you can see, I've now mounted them onto wooden batons and we've got uh, 12 across by 8 down. And this is the WS2811 uh, uh, LEDs, um, all controlled from a Raspberry Pi with a level shifter helping us out. And um, yeah, it looks very pretty. So the next step is to um, try and display a JPEG on there. So resize an image down to 12 by 8 pixels and see if I can get it to display on this on this matrix. Um, you can see that the LEDs are put on quite a haphazard fashion. They're just stapled onto the, uh, the wooden batons. Um, the idea with this is that um, it's going to be seen from quite a distance. So I'm not trying to get exact distances between them. Um, each one of these LEDs is about uh, eight and a half centimeters apart. Um, so the whole thing is really designed to go in an upstairs window and be visible from a reasonable distance away, sort of, you know, down the street kind of thing. Uh, I'm not trying to make a high resolution display. I'm trying to make a very, very cheap display. So these two, I've got two strings of um, 50 LEDs. Um, there's only, a, I'm only using 96 here. I chopped four of them off at the end. Um, each string of 50 LEDs cost me uh, 12 quid something from Amazon, shipped in from China, 12 quid each, so that's 24 quid. Um, plus uh, one of my older Raspberry Pis, I do have rather a lot of them, a uh, level shifter chip um, from Adafruit, about sort of three quid or so, um, and a, uh, a 10 amp a 5 volt power supply. Isn't it pretty? I'm colour blind and that's pretty pretty, so it must look fantastic to all of you people with proper colour vision.